But the situation is a bit challenging this year because of a blizzard in the Midwest. We just checked the FlightAware website and the number of delays nationwide is up to nearly 10,000 flights, almost 1,300 cancellations, 300 of them in Chicago alone. Now, let's check in with KTV's Zach Soss. He is live at SFO to see how this is all affecting travelers there. Zach? Yeah, and we are starting to see some of those cancellations and particularly delays start to tick up. It really depends on where you're heading. If you're heading towards the East Coast, where some of that uh, those storms are headed, uh, you certainly should be checking in with your airline ahead of time. That's what uh, airport officials are recommending. So here's the situation here at SFO. 11 flight cancellations, 32 delays. That's 10 more than an hour ago. Meantime, at Oakland International, nine cancellations, 20 23 delays, delays again ticking up, about 10 more. At Mineta, San Jose, eight canceled flights and 22 delays, a few more delays uh, this hour. Almost all of these, again, being caused by bad weather at other airports, Southwest and United, the airlines most impacted right now with hubs in the eye of that storm. Minneapolis seeing the brunt of the bad weather right now, leaving some passengers completely stranded or with long, long delays. We uh, were supposed to leave at 8 this morning, so due to crew constraints and weather, we uh, have been delayed until um, 9.30 p.m. tonight. Air airports in Chicago and Denver also expected to be hit hard by this storm and to rack up some delays, cancellations here today. So again, if you are flying out today, airport officials recommending that you check in with your airline ahead of time, uh, that you arrive here extra early and that you do sign up for those flight statuses to make sure that uh, your flight is leaving when you expect it to. For now, I'll send it back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Zach. Well,